This video is about a backpack on the Cumberland Trail, the Rock Creek section near Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, the trail is uh, very well signed as reflected by these signs. And uh, my GPS showed around six uh, and a half miles, whereas the trail people in its state park say more like uh, five and a half. Here are my hiking companions, Tommy Pritchard on the left and Jackie Little. And here's a uh, selfie I took along the trail. The uh, trail initially uh, goes through a fairly level pine woods uh, and then drops into the gorge. Here's a uh, map uh, starting at the bottom left, the blue we did on Saturday, then right down through the gorge uh, and ending on the right side on Sunday. As the trail traverses down into the Rock Creek Gorge, it uh, crosses numerous small streams and also passes uh, below several very nice uh, waterfalls like uh, these two. As the uh, trail reaches uh, Rock Creek, it crosses the creek on this very nice bridge that was installed by the Cumberland Trail Conference and its volunteers. And the water uh, in the creek is much higher than usual because of recent rains. That view is looking straight down. Here's a view looking up uh, Rock Creek from the bridge. And here's a video from the bridge. Well, I'm at the first bridge crossing of Rock Creek. Uh, a little over three miles by my GPS. It's taken me a long time because my legs are really sore. And here's the bridge. How they built this, who knows? And that's looking downstream the way we're going to be heading tomorrow. And just below the bridge, we get to our campsite, a, a really good one. The creek is right there, roaring at high water. Nice fire ring and even a little uh, sitting rock platform. And then this big overhanging bluff right above us. Yeah, that's a that's that's a beautiful creek. Crossing the bridge up there, that was beautiful too. Uh, yeah, this is Rock Creek. Yep. Good job. Okay, it's uh, after six, and we are. Okay, y'all uh, say something smart or look good or something. It's, uh, it's on a video. <laughs> I don't even have a smart phone. How can I say something smart? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> anyway, we've got everything set up and are getting ready to cook dinner. And Tommy got a fire started there. Here's Jackie eating dinner at the uh, campsite. The night was cold, but not bad, high 40s. Uh, here's Tommy getting ready to go the next morning. And here's a look back at uh, the area of our campsite below that big black uh, bluff. Come on, I'm getting a movie of you. The backpackers, look at them go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful view looking back there. Yeah. Great place. This is Leggett Branch Falls. Beautiful waterfall. And the trail crosses on a shelf right at the bottom of it. Ooh. And this is the crossing, and the creek, Lake of Creek goes on down and joins Rock Creek uh, 
down there a ways. And the trail goes right there. For about a mile after the falls, we saw hundreds of hickory nuts lying along the trail. Some of the biggest I'd ever seen. Uh, and also, uh, the fall colors were great, uh, and particularly the red and yellow maple leaves that we sometimes saw along the trail. And uh, also, uh, there were some uh, fall uh, flowers uh, here of the asters. We, of course, crossed the big bridge across Rock Creek on Saturday, but then on Sunday there were supposed to be uh, three more bridges, but two of them are washed out like this one, uh, leaving only uh, one uh, remaining bridge across the tributary shown here. The fall colors were quite good the uh, entire hike, uh, the reds and yellows, uh, and particularly uh, against the uh, cliff walls uh, of the gorge. Uh, Maybe the best uh, view was from the Rock Creek Overlook shown here.